Hi, Georgia B back again. Today I'd like to show how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Forever Fern. I haven't used it for a while. So I thought I'd use it. I used all the leaves plus um, the sentiment to a friend that makes me smile. And I'm also using the dies. Might as well get them out. Right, this one I've already cut. I cut out loads when I made this card. And I only used three, so I've got a few left over. So we don't need that. But we need that one. That one. This one. No, I've already done that. The two small leaves. This leaf. And this one. Right, this one here, which I said I've already cut, is because I've gutted it from the centre of the backing there. Because believe it or not, I do not have any scraps of this Just Jade. And I think, I think this may be the first time I've used it. So I just took it out of there, no one's going to see it. So I have got a card base of jade, just jade, of eight and a quarter by no, of eleven and three quarters by four and one eighth, scored up and folded at five and seven eighths. I have a piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and that will just get glued straight in because we didn't do anything inside. So might as well glue that in now. on that because I don't need it for a while yet. I have got obviously a piece of jade at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of white which I can't remember what it is at five by three and a half which will go over the top there and I have a piece of the fern DSP at four and seven eighths by three and three eighths and that will go like that so we no don't want to do that yet right we're going to do our stamping we want lots of scraps so we can stamp our leaves out should be enough Move that out of the way. Right, the ink colours I'm going to use, I'm going to open them all up and stick my stamps on. Just Jade. And that is going to be for the bubble stamp, as I call it. Mossy Meadow is going to be for one of the small stamps, which I haven't got a block on yet, so that will have to wait. Old Olive is for the other small stamp. Then I have got, let me move all these out of the way. Um, so Succulent, one of the new colours. And this is for this one. One of the leaves. And Evening evergreen and that's for the big stamp I thought I might have stopped recording then because I hit the record button and this one must have been off oh this one's off a uh, just jade as well you'll see why I've got two lots on that so Let's stamp these out. 
So this big one, which is Evening Evergreen, we're going to stamp on there. Look how that's come out. Isn't that nice? I'm cleaning them up because I do need the um, blocks. Right, this is so succulent. That's that one will go on there. Oh no, I don't want that one yet. Just jade, and that one will go there. And then these little ones can go on here. One in old olive and one in mossy meadow. So we've got all different types of green going on here. We'll cut them out shortly. Didn't need that bit. Right, with this one, all we need is just jade. So let's close all these up. And keep our just jade. Bring in a scrap of paper. Because all we're going to do is go around the edges of this one with the bubble stamp, as I call it. We don't need it all. We just want to cover round the edges with our stamp. Like that, just all around the edge. And we need done that, that white bit for the sentiment. Now for the sentiment I used stitch those sweetly dies and I used this one. It's not big enough to go on there. Yeah. So we need the sentiment out, which would help, wouldn't it? Um oh yeah, see. which I've done in just jade. Now what way is that? That way. And we'll pop that in the middle. And hopefully I've given myself enough room on there to cut that out. I don't think I have. I'm not happy with that. Let's cut it again. Got another bit here. Right, it just fits in like that. There we are. Close this up. Now we need to bring this in and this in and cut them all out. So we'll start off with the 
sentiment since it's already sorted. And there's our sentiment already cut. Um, what do I do with all the leaves? These two little ones out. Nope. Helps if you put them on the right stamp. And I mean, I could have had all these cut out beforehand, but then I think I've already done a cut and stick stamp this week. I don't need them no more. Right, this one is this die. didn't do a just jade one of the bubble stamp so I'm going to need to quickly stamp one of them one them all the way afterwards. So there's our, all our leaves. The only thing that's going on dimensional is the sentiment. So I'll we'll pop that up now. One in each end. Right. 
one at the top and bottom. Right now we just need to pop this car together. DSP on to the white and then glue this on to the just jade. to the front of the guard. Like that. Now, we're going to place these down. This goes up this end. And we're going to have that one there. And that one there. This one out there, you get my meaning. They're all going to be like that, all the leaves together. So I'm going to put this on first. And that is going to go just there. And all I'm gluing down is the stems and the bottom of the leaf and pop that there. This one. I'm popping just there. This one right in the middle. Oh, it needs to go down a bit. That's it. using all the leaves up and then the solid green or just shade one right, I'm just going to place under the sentiment these only need three and I'm just going to place these Randomly, so this one's going to go under there and have it sticking up. This one, we're having them all facing out the way. So you have to make sure you glue the right end. Like that. 
And that is our card just about done. Oh, some gems. These are crystal stickers. Don't ask me where they come from. I think they were my friend Brenda's in her stash. I found them in the drawer when I was looking for something green to put on here. So I am going to place them randomly on my card. Just three. And I think they match the Just Jade really well. Glues in out there. And that is my card. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.